Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk tonight about the Donald Trump assassination attempt. Yes, things have gotten that serious. Stick around to hear the views. They've tried to kill him, um, and uh, you know, of course, you know, funnily enough, it's the lone wolf, the old lone wolf, you know, who was allowed to wander around, you know, the uh, the uh, the perimeters of the uh, Trump rally for a couple of hours. It seems like. I mean, I don't know. If you look into this, it's dodgier. It's dodgier than the JFK assassination, ladies and gentlemen, which, as we well know, is incredibly dodgy. Um, you know, it's another lone shooter. Um, you know, uh, it's not Lee Harvey Oswald. It's uh, Thomas Matthew Cook Crooks. And um, so, you know, this guy is some kind of like, you know, um, loser, kind of 20 year old who is clearly been bullied and um, got involved in sublimation of his, you know, um, unhappy life and he's blaming you know his misery on politicians uh particularly donald trump it seems there's a couple of videos of him online ranting about trump um and you know there's all kinds of stuff coming out about him it seems like his family were maybe trump supporters um you know and um you know for whatever reason he turned against them and um you know uh, you know it was radicalized in some way got hold of his father's gun and then i mean you know if you look into what's going on, it's just utterly ridiculous that this 20-year-old, completely inexperienced 20-year-old, could get onto the roof. I mean, you know, I mean, surely there was a code word that is amongst the police and the Secret Service, which means, you know, I've seen a shooter or something, and to get Donald Trump off stage. I don't know, it's like a secret word like Fidelio, but, well, you know, like, there was a police officer who went up on the roof, and the gunman turned on him with a gun, and then he slipped down the ladder and, uh, you know, fell eight feet. Then he said, oh, there's some kind of, you know, shooter on the roof. That was about a minute before the shooting started, ladies and gentlemen. There's all kinds of things like this going on. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, obviously I've done a few shows talking about this. I, I, I did uh, Cafe Locked Out um, this week, uh, No Goat Show. We spoke about it with Michael Gray Griffiths. Uh, I did a, sh a little... Uh, you know, the Four hours after the event, I did a, a recorded something with David Thrussell and then... Obviously, I did the show this week with uh, Sam Newman. Sam Newman's most upset, obviously. He's a big Trump supporter. And, um, you know, he uh, he's convinced now, after this, that, um, uh, you know, basically Donald Trump will be assassinated. He doesn't believe Trump will become president because he believes they'll try again and they'll probably be successful. That's a sad reality, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I mean, I hope that's not the case. I am, you know, obviously Trump positive. I hope that they, they've had their uh, they've had their chance to get him and they missed. Uh, um, you know, there's a new Tom McDonald song out called They Missed, you know, <laughs> or You Missed or something, you know, so check that out. Um, you know, uh, but, you know, I mean, Sam Newman is quite conspiratorial about it. He, he thinks there's no way this 20-odd idiot could have got anywhere near, um, you know, the uh, Donald Trump uh, and that he was sort of allowed by the Biden um, apparatus. Obviously, it's not Biden himself because he, he hardly knows what's going on. But, like, you know, it is the, the deep, what you call the deep state, you know, in wanting to kill him for whatever reason. I think that's true. Obviously, there are some outlandish um, you know, conspiracy theories out there, even among some people in the freedom movement, that Trump was somehow involved in um, assassinating himself or, you know, like wounding him so that he looks like this hero. That's something a lot of far left people, and I've even heard it from some freedom movement people. I think that's, that's a worrying. I, I I just can't see... I mean, I'm not saying Trump could never get involved in a conspiracy. I think he could, but certainly not something like this where there's a bullet whizzing past his head. And the bullet is obviously real because it killed somebody in the stands, this poor chap, I can't remember his name, and, um, you know, and other people were injured. So, you know, it is a terrible event. Um, there's all kinds of things going on, you know, and you see... Uh, people within, you know, the deep state and the cabal are getting very nervous. Uh, Obama came out uh, yesterday and said that Biden um, is most likely going to stand down. Um, I've heard other rumours uh, that he could be standing down, um, not from the presidency, but from re-election as soon as this weekend. So, you know, like, you know, they've obviously panicked after missing Trump. They have to do something else. You see people like Raskin, who was uh, like, you know, been attacking Trump over the whole January 6th fiasco, which is, you know, ridiculous. Uh, the real conspirators are the people, the real people who are interested in a coup, are the people who succeeded and stole the 2020 election. People like Raskin, people like Blinken, people like Klein, Yellen, Mayorkas, Garland, all these, uh, you know, and they're all Jewish, ladies and gentlemen, but obviously they're not the only people who are involved in the coup. There are a lot of others as well, but there are certainly a large 
much Jewish representation in the uh, Biden uh, government. You just need to look it up. Um, so yeah, look, it's terrible what's going on. Um, you know, there's even shots of you know the shooter, you know, wearing a wearing a skull cap, fighting around. Apparently, I've been told that that's fake news. I have no idea. Maybe it's true fake news in the sense that like it might be fake, but it might be speaking to some truth. I can't say. But like, um, you know. It's terrible. Uh, for a Trump supporter, it's been a harrowing week. Um, you know, I mean, I don't want to fully agree with Sam Newman because I hope that Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. But, you know, Sam's concerns are, are quite legitimate. Um, this, If this was, as it appears to be, a legitimate attempt on Donald Trump's life, why won't they try again and just get somebody a little bit more experienced? Uh, at assassinating people. There is a rumour fighting around at the moment about Iran. There's a plot from Iran to attack Donald Trump. First of all, that is nonsense because um, Donald Trump would be a far more peaceful president than, um, you know, some globalist representative or a, a Biden second term or another Democrat second term. It's clear that, you know, obviously, you know, there's obviously the war in Ukraine that, um, you know, Trump has promised to end within 24 hours. So, you know, this is a big deal. Um, how it will play out. We're just going to have to wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, the RNC uh, is on at the moment, and there's some you know interesting, colourful characters that have come out of the woodwork. Uh, you know, Hulk Hogan has come out, and he's declared trump mania uh, in a very colourful um, kind of uh, speech that he's just given that I just saw online before doing the sh today's show. So, it's very exciting times. I do hope um, you know, that Donald Trump will be able to be kept alive so that... Uh, he can win in November and become the next president. Uh, but I do understand the concerns of people um, that, you know, uh, he might not, that he might actually be assassinated. We'll just have to, we'll just have to wait and see. And, and I do think, you know, this is a time to pray to God, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, you know, I do think in the way Donald Trump's head was sort of like, you know, I don't know, he was sort of like this, I think. And, and so that the camera there is the assassin. And then he just went like that, and then the, you know, the bullet went away, whereas if it was there, it would have gone right in the middle of our head. So you see that he missed having his head blown off by essentially a, a one second move, almost a second before. That's providence, ladies and gentlemen. That's an act of God, okay? When someone's taken a shot at you like that. The second and third shot I think he took were, were off the mark or wilder, but, but it's always the first, the one, that's the one that they need to hit. I don't know whether this young kid did it. There's rumours that it came from some water tower. It's already, it's already more conspiracy theories have developed in the past week than, uh, you know, than surround JFK almost. So, you know, something very strange was going on no matter which way you look at it, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, I don't believe Trump was involved in any way. And if you've gone that far down the rabbit hole, um, whether you be a left winger or, or somebody in the freedom movement who just thinks everything is a giant conspiracy, I think you've gone too far. But that's where we stand, and um, you know I think it's time to pray for Trump, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope they can keep him alive because at this stage, it's pretty clear that he'll win after that shot. 